The next round is Believe It or Not. In this round, I'll give the panellists a simple statement, and all they have to do is decide whether they think it's true or false. Dave, Fiona and Jason are to go first. Ooh. To illustrate their statistic, let's have a look at a clip of an animal psychic channelling the spirit of a dolphin. It is our great delight and pleasure to be able to share this time and this space with you. You, dear friends, within human form, we within dolphin form. <laughs> OK, here is your related <laughs> statistic. 52% of Brits would like to be reincarnated as a dolphin rather than any other animal. True or false? I don't know why anybody would want to come back as an animal. I just, you know, we're, we're human. Uh, you know, we're the best animal in the world. As a human, I only want to come back as a human, cos I'm number one, or a unicorn. I'm not sure you get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because people love horses, don't they? They love horses. Imagine how much they'd love a flying horse. Imagine that. <laughs> and if they didn't love you, fly off. <laughs> it's a very good point, Jason. What, what would you guys want to come back as? I could probably come back as a daddy long legs, live for six hours and some f pulls your wings off. <laughs> Be my luck. Or I come back as a dolphin in a, in, in a fish pool in Blackpool. Yeah. With somebody going, right, you jump, or you won't get a f***ing pilchard. <laughs> dolphins have got the edge for me. I think they are very sexually active. Dolphins, they have group sex. They do all that. And, they, and the actual, the, the penis is prehensile. They can pick stuff up and carry it. That's brilliant. That. That's like a bit of flower arranging. Look at that. <laughs> Jermaine, what would you come back as? Uh, I will come back as a host of recycled nutrients, fungus and bacteria, and that suits me fine. <laughs> you know, it's a comedy show, don't <laughs> 52% of Brits would like to be reincarnated as a dolphin rather than any other animal. True or false? Well, we're having false. a round now. False. false. So yeah. you're going for false? 2-1. False. OK. Well, I can tell you that the answer is false. Ah! Yes, it's actually 13% that would like to come back as a dolphin. Of course, lots of people don't believe in reincarnation, but I think you may as well. You only live once. <laughs> right, OK. Sean, Phil and Jermaine, let's have a look at a clip to illustrate your statistic. $720. $720. All our bids are locked in. Good luck to you all. Our prize, $799. Merry <laughs> Reed. Jermaine when she found out she was coming on this show. <laughs> that was the Australian Price is Right. Here is your related statistic. 67% of game show contestants describe appearing on television as the most exciting thing that has ever happened to them. True or false? She looked horrified. She looked like she'd been given, uh, you know, tickets for a dinner with Mick Hucknall or something. <laughs> 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 it's called hysterics, isn't it? it yeah. They should have give, slugged her. Bam! Yeah. What, what, what kind of a feminist are you? <laughs> I would slug you if you had hysterics. Will you? Do I have to have hysterics? <laughs> <laughs> How about if I'm just cheeky? <laughs> Female eunuch, this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about game shows, they always say to contestants, don't they? Don't they? they always say to them, uh, you know, there's a funny thing happened to you once, didn't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Biscuits or something. <laughs> yeah. And there you go, oh, yes, yeah, I bought, uh, bought some uh, rich tea and uh, I got them home and it turned out, I forgot you've got it wrong, actually, but we, we like digestives. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the usual stories they tell. So you can see that, that actually the anecdotes they have in their life are so pitiful. 
that television probably would blow their minds. <laughs> Jermaine, you were on one, though, weren't you? You yeah. were on Big Brother. You, was it the most exciting thing that's ever happened to you? No. What was? Almost anything else. <laughs> I loathed it. And they make up rules that you consider yourself bound by, and then they change them. And they make it as hard as they can. This was Big Brother, wasn't it? Not your days in Guantanamo. <laughs> What do you think, Sean? Um, I think it's uh, absolutely spot on, Jimmy. That <laughs> statistic isn't a statistic, it's a fact. <laughs> well, I'm I staring you... down the barrel of the truth there. <laughs> and I'm saying yes. <laughs> I can tell you that the answer is false. Ah!